I was born in Mount Juliet, Tennessee, actually in a little community called Gladeville, which no one has ever heard of. And we're actually there right now. This is my house uh, on the land that I grew up on, uh, just a, a rural area growing up, but now has become a place that Nashville is overtaking and filled with a, with a lot of growth. I never thought that I would stay in this area. Most people that grow up in Mount Juliet are thinking about how they can, how they can get out of here. And then becoming a United Methodist pastor, it's usually uh, pretty rare that you would come back to your hometown, but a beautiful part of our story and how God has uh, called us to this place uh, was about coming back home. I was just a few days after my 18th birthday when um, I was on a, a spiritual retreat uh, with some, some young people and I found myself alone uh, in prayer, just sort of on my knees praying. I was praying in my heart and then just out of my mouth I said, God, I'm going to serve you as a pastor. And I was more surprised than anyone about that. The first person that I told uh, was my girlfriend, Rachel, who's now my wife. Uh, a couple of months later, I, I told her, you know, this big deal. I was like, I've got something I've got to tell you. And I shared with her that I felt like God was calling me to be a pastor. And uh, her response was, uh, I knew that. And, and that was a real uh, confirming moment. I called my mom, you know, went out into the hallway so no one could, could see me and told her, you know, mom, I got this crazy thing, but I feel like God's calling me to be a pastor. And she said, I've known that since you were a little boy. So my call uh, as, a, as a teenager, my growing up in a church, in a family that was disconnected and connected, all sort of came to fruition in coming back to start Providence Church. We spent a lot of time talking and praying about what God was actually calling us to do. That's where the vision for Providence Church grew out of, a small group of people that met for a number of months. Uh, our vision, our purpose, is to see those who feel disconnected from God and the church find hope, healing, and wholeness in Jesus Christ. We began to pray about and talk to other churches, and we formed the model for what we use now, small groups that meet in the homes uh, around a pattern that we found in Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2 is where the church started, and small groups there uh, met for prayer, the breaking of bread, fellowship, and the study of the apostles' teaching. So we began small groups that simply did those four things. That pattern has formed our groups that we have dozens and dozens of now, but it started from a hunger that we saw in our people to do life together, not just to meet together for a study, uh, but to serve together, to, to learn together, to grow together, to, to grieve together, to do all of life together. If you're a church that's wanting to start small groups, first I would tell you, it's messy. You're dealing with people, but it's worth it. It's worth the, the work that it takes to learn a little bit about people and help connect them. Our first worship service was on Easter morning, seven o'clock in the morning in a local city park. It's the only place we could find. And of course, we were totally terrified about what would happen, meaning will anybody come? And some people came. We had over a hundred people come to a sunrise service on Easter morning. From there though, we were still nomadic. Uh, each month, we were just trying to tell people where we would be meeting the next month. So we met for eight years in those schools and hotel rooms and city parks before finally moving into our permanent building where we've seen already God do amazing things through Providence Church. Rachel and I have three daughters. Mary is our oldest. She looks just like me and she acts just like her mom. Lydia, our middle daughter, is more quiet and reserved some of the time, but then other times she has this big, beautiful personality. Our youngest daughter is Phoebe. Phoebe is the baby of the family and she is full of surprises. One of the best things for me as a pastor is seeing my girls in church. And so we've seen them grow. We've seen them have significant markers in their life because of other people who've come at one time being disconnected and now have connected to the church and are a part of growing and shaping our girls. Providence Church is a place where we hope to see disconnected people connect with Jesus. It's that simple.